Hello everyone, uh, I'm going to show you a video of something interesting I did since the compact's officially mine again. I want to tell you the truth here, that the person that was supposed to get this computer didn't, de didn't decide to come, so since it returned to my fleet, I'm going to show you what I've done. I put two operating systems, which are it's a dual boot between Windows 98 and Windows 2000. Let's start off with 98. <laughs> and I do have a cool startup sound on it, but the only thing is you can't hear it that loud because of them speakers, and there's no networking and stuff installed. And I use this as a games machine. It's some pian it's a piano sound. And actually, this is the unofficial service pack for Windows 98. It kind of looks more like Windows 2000. I'm gonna show you it's proof that it's Windows 98. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna restart. And I'm going to go over to the Windows 2000 partition. See? It's booting up Windows 2000. This is what you want to do. If you're going to do a clean install of Windows, don't worry about that phone. That phone... Somebody may get it. What you want to do is, like I was saying, install a 9x version of Windows first, like Windows 95, Windows NT, I mean, I'm not NT, like 95, 98, or ME first, because if you install 98 after you install an NT based operating system, it could overwrite the boot sector. But, you can install Windows 2000 after you install Windows 98 SE on your computer. If you got a lot of hard drive space left. Because I use this as a games machine. This is what you call old school dual boot. And actually, see it's booting up right there. It takes a while to boot. And I do have a USB keyboard hooked up to this. That's a cool wallpaper. Yep, and this is the Compact Rosario 7594. There's all my programs. Let's go ahead and shut it down. Turn that wallpaper. Turn the wallpaper off. Yeah, I'll put it there for a while. So I wanted something to look a little cool because it saves memory that way. And my Gateway G6350 has Office 2003 as well. 
And Office 2003 works pretty good on Pentium too. It does install, but it it freezes a couple of times. When I was upgrading from Office 2000, that's what I had on there. I think Office 2003 suited Windows 2000 more because I had Internet Explorer 6 and Windows Media Player 9. Since I had a lot of updated programs. Because I always keep my software up to date. To a, a good version. To, to something decent. So that it will be running smoother. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off for now. So.